Good morning, MOC441 fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, I want to discuss uh, a weird thing that comes up uh, in court uh, fairly often, and can come up anywhere, but that's where, obviously, it has the most effect. And it is uh, something that, uh, well, it's the difference between possible and probable. Especially in court, uh, when I'm on the stand testifying, I will very often have the uh, the lawyer on the other side um, really try to pigeonhole me into taking a position on something where it may not be accurate. For example, uh, they'll say, well, Mr. Ripa, is such and such possible? And I say, well, it's possible, but it's not probable. And they come back with, okay, so then it could happen. Obviously, they want... Uh, you to come around to admitting to their position. Don't be intimidated. These are just lawyer tricks, nothing more. And so when they say that, I will reiterate, well, it's possible, but it's not probable. And they will not relent. Oh, so it could happen? Well, let's be frank. I could walk outside right now and get hit by a falling satellite. It's possible, but it's not probable. And so we have to be able to understand the difference between the two and understand their context when the question is asked. Now, I realize that there's defense experts out there that throw out theories just for the sake of getting uh, uh, reasonable doubt. Well, a virus could have done it. Well... Yeah, but we looked for viruses, and we looked for malware, and we didn't find any. Well, is it possible that it was malware or a virus that hasn't been discovered yet? Well, it's possible, but it's not probable. Understand the difference. It's possible that you got a virus. Somebody gave you a virus or malware or something that caused that activity to occur on your computer. But if we don't find that malware or virus in the scan, well, it's possible it's there, but it's not probable. Nobody is wasting a zero day on me, on you. They're far too valuable. So is it possible? Yeah, but is it probable? No. To a high degree of professional certainty, I do not believe after the work I conducted that malware or a virus exist on this system. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.